Ambore Sai Ambore Sai Ambore Mayonga Sai Sai Mbok For those of you who may not know me my name is Masoki Mamasoki I am the son of the holy cave the holy grotto the rocky mountain the pierced rock the mountain of God called Ngokli Tuba in Cameroon Cameroon is a Western African country that is border with Nigeria on its western side. I am also the great grandson and heir to the great patriarch, the great guardian of tradition, the one who has overcome death in the name of Bombok Jami. Before I can carry on, I would like to remind you that you can subscribe to my YouTube channel Masoki Mamasoki in order to watch all my video and once you subscribe video that are titled in basa language are in basa and those that are titled in french or in english are in french or in english so just follow the title and you will know in which language the video has been recorded and for those of you who are interested in politics and in global issue you can subscribe to my blog www masoki.wordpress.com and all articles in my blog are in English language today video is a continuity it is the part 2 of the first video I recorded in English language and title Ngorlituba the, the God of the World Ngorlituba the God of the World so for you to understand this video today which is part 2 you have to watch part one so you can go to youtube on my channel masoki mamasoki and look for the following title god Lutuba, the god of the world and as i told you in my previous video English is my third language. That's why I rarely record video in English language. Most of the time, I record video in my ancestral Basa language and also in French language. Actually, today is my second video in English language. And it is part two. of the topic titled Ngor Lutuba the God of the World and 
for you to really get what I'm going to say today, you have to, to watch the first part. Nevertheless, I am going to quickly brief you on the first part of this video. In the first part, I did say that the word Ngoklituba is composed of two words, Ngok and Lituba, and the word Ngok means a rock, and the word Lituba means a hole. So Ngok Lituba is a pierced rock, a rock that has a hole. It is also a mountain. That's why it is also called the Rocky Mountain. It is a meteorite that has fallen millions and millions and millions of years before the apparitions of mankind. And in part one of this, of this topic, I have also said that the first human being appeared at Ngogli Tuba. However, this has not yet been proven by scientists, by people of science. But it is just a matter of time. It is just a matter of time. However, it has been proven without question, without doubt, that Africa is the origin of mankind, that humanity started in Africa, and that whatever your color, whatever color you attribute yourself, whether you call yourself white, whether you call yourself yellow, all our ancestors are black and Africans. So I am just still briefing you about what I've said in the first video. I also told you in part one of this video that the Basa people who left the rocky mountain or the pierced rock they are the one who migrated from west africa to north africa exactly in egypt and built the pharaonic egyptian civilization which we all venerate today. I, uh, in part one, I also told you that These are the Basa people who left the Rocky Mountain. They are the one who populated the entire planet. So I will now go deep into that. You, you can watch part one and also say in part one we are always we are we, we are we are we are still in part one I told you that in 525 BC 
525 BC before Christ and that I use the word before Christ just for chronological reference because Christ never existed and that Christ is a forgery is a white man forgery of African and Basa mythology Then in 525 BC, when the Persians and the king of Cambys raided or attacked Egypt, most black people ran away from Egypt and spread in the whole of Southern Africa or Sub-Saharan Africa. Africa in the sub-Saharan Africa and uh, and one group of the Basa people or the black people who fled Egypt in 525 BC they never forgot they never forgot that their ancestor came from the holy cave, the rocky mountain. So, they found their way back to that rocky mountain, passing through Sudan, Lake Chad, Nigeria, then Cameroon. And that it is that mountain, that rocky mountain, that is God. That is being venerated and worshipped by all religion, whatever your religion, whether you are Christian, Islam, uh, Muslim, Jew, Hindu, uh, Hinduist, Taoist, whatever your religion, the God you worship and venerate, it is a black woman, and it is that rocky mountain it is that rock and even religion that do not talk about God such as Buddhism have their origin at the rocky mountain ah so, and lastly, and lastly, in, the, in part one on this topic, I told you that when the white people invaded the land, which is known today as Cameroon, when they reached the Holy Mountain, they planted the cross a cross that is mistakenly called a christian cross because in part one i told you that the cross has nothing to do with christianity and that it is a basa it is an african it's a gogletuba symbol that we africa we the basa people we have two types of cross within our spirituality we have the cross of life or the cross of eternal life which is called in in ancient egypt the ank here it is the ank and then and then you have the cross of death which symbolizes death which today has become the christian cross which is a forgery of African of the Basa spirituality. And this Christian cross is not popular within the African spirituality because it symbolizes death. African, our ancestors, the black people, the Basa people, normally they used to put the cross which is today mistakenly called the Christian cross 
on the grave of this disease. And, and I told it in, in part one of this video that the pyramids were just the tomb or the grave of the pharaoh or a king. And that when a pharaoh or a king took power in ancient Egypt, they start building a pyramid where they are going to bury him. And if you go, for instance, in the pyramid of Medum, the pharaoh which were buried in the pyramid of Medum at least 4,000 years before Judaism, you can find a cross on top of his grave. So when people die and on the grave they, they put what has been called the Christian cross this has nothing to do with Christianity this is African spirituality because, because those white people this is not racism huh? this is fact I am not the one calling them white people they call themselves white people I call myself black people so if you call me black this has nothing to do with racism because this is how I call myself okay so because those white people who bring you Christianity has no religion of their own because all religion started in Africa and as I was saying when the white people invaded Cameroon they reached at the whole Rocky Mountain and then they planted the cross on top of the Rocky Mountain Because that cross symbolized death. The indigenous people, the Basa people, since then, when they, when they gained the end, because Cameroon got independence in 1960. In 1960, even though it was a fake independence, because the independent leaders were all killed before 1960, and France and Great Britain put their puppet in power to save the white interest instead to say instead of saving the black interest the African interest so when Cameroon got his independence in 1960 the indigenous people the Basa people wrote several letters to the Vatican asking them to peacefully remove the cross on top of the holy mountain which belong to the Ngongi Tuba people to the Basa people however the Vatican the Vatican never complied and the Vatican which is in Rome 6,000 kilometers away from Cameroon claim that that site Gogli Tuba, that rocky mountain which is 6,000 kilometers away from the Vatican belong to the Vatican even though the United Nations has ha, has recognized that that site belong to the Basa people to the Gogli Tuba people but because the Catholic the Roman Catholic Church is accomplished with the Cameroonian dictatorial government they have the military so they never remove the cross on top of the holy mountain since it was planted before 1960 and last year in 2017 the indigenous people went and removed the cross and the Roman Catholic Church called the military, called the police, and those who removed the cross were arrested and jailed. And two months later, the Roman Catholic Church, accompanied with military, police, gun, bullet, name it, they went back to this to the Rocky Mountain 
to the site that belong to the Basa people and put back the cross. Now, if the site belong to the Catholic Church as they claim, what do they have to go there with the military, with guns? Because you don't need gun to enter your own house. I don't need military to accompany me in my own house. Only a thief, a burglar, a criminal need military, they need gun to go to other people's house. For you to understand why this Roman Catholic Church in Rome claim that that mountain belong to them is because that mountain is God. This is the mountain. This is the rocky mountain. This is the black woman. They get you to worship. This is the God you worship. All over the world. If you go inside the Vatican, Virgin Mary, Virgin Mary inside the Vatican is black. And let me tell you, Mary is an African name. Mary is the black name inside the Vatican. The Jesus they pray to, the Jesus they, they pray to is a black Jesus. So for you to understand why the Vatican claim a site that is 6,000 kilometers away, let us go to the Bible. I will not quote the entire Bible because of time. I'm using my cell phone and I cannot record more than 35 minutes so so I have to I just read few passage on the Bible and on my upcoming video we will go further so let me go to the Bible I have the Bible here in my laptop Just give me a few seconds by the time I turn on my laptop. Yeah. So, okay. so we are going to go to the Bible and I'm just going to read a few verses here. Yeah? And I will, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be quick because I'm running out of time. I'm using my cell phone. Okay, and then remember that Ngorlituba is a rock. Ngorlituba is a rock, is a rocky mountain. So let's go to Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 2. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 2. I read, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. So the Lord is my rock, and God is the rock. The Lord is my rock. And now, here, King David who wrote these verses, you know, when he was pushed by his enemy and by Saul, and by Saul. When Saul was chasing David, he went and then he, he hid inside the rock, inside a cave, a rock. And then, he, and then he said, the Lord is my rock. But I told you in, the, in, part, in, part one, on, in part one that those people you hear in the Bible never existed. Whether it's King David, Solomon, Jesus Christ, Abraham, they never, never existed. You know. And the Bible itself says so. If you go in the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 20 to 24, it is said that Abraham had two wives, Sarah and Ega. But those two wives are just analogy. One represents the Mount Sinai, and the other one represents the covenant. So those two wives of Abraham are analogy. 
they just represent Mount Sinai. So if those who have never existed, it means that you have it means that none of Abraham's descendants existed. It means you have no David, you have no Solomon, you have no Jesus. The Bible is just a misinterpretation of African spirituality. And, and in part one of this video, I told that the word Bible itself, it is an African word. It's a Basa word. It's a Ngoglitoba word. So, King David, who supposedly existed, wrote this verse when he was being pursued by his enemy. But according to the the Ngolituba people, so because Ngolituba is 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 a rock, it's also okay. When our ancestors left Egypt and they were running away. When they when they reach Gong Tuba, according to when they written when they reach Gong Tuba, they say that they were still pushed by the enemy. So they enter inside Gong Tuba, inside the cave, inside the rock, and the spider came and covered the hole, the in the hole or the entrance of the rock with a big spider web and which protected them from the enemy that's why the spider in our culture is a very sacred animal we have no right to 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 to, to, to kill spider so our ancestor they took refuge in the cave in the rock and here you have the bible Telling you that the rock is my, the Lord is my rock. When David was being pushed by his enemy, he took refuge inside the cave. But the Bible is just a misinterpretation and a forgery. Now let's go to Psalm 18 verse 31 let's go to psalm 18 verse 31 i read for who is god beside the lord and who is the rock except our god who is god beside the lord and who is the rock except our god the rock and god Ritoba is a rock they are told that god is god Ritoba. God is a rock. That's why the Roman Catholic Church, that's why the Vatican, who are six, who are six kilometers away from Cameroon, they are claiming a land, they are claiming a site, they are claiming a rock, a mountain, they are claiming a rock that does not belong to them, and they are ready to kill for that rock because they know that that rock is God. The worship. That rock is a black woman the venerate. That rock is God. Let's go to Psalm 19. Psalm 19, verse 14. I read. May this word of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be, be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock, my redeemer. The rock again. May this word of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock, my redeemer. Let's go to Psalm 95. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout allowed to the rock of our salvation i read again i repeat psalm 95 come let us sing for joy to the lord let us shout aloud to the rock to the rock of our salvation let's go to isaiah 26 verse 4 isaiah chapter 26 verse 4 
trust in the Lord forever. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord himself is the rock eternal. For the, for the Lord himself is the rock eternal. And that rock, and God is eternal. It is, it is a rock that has fallen. It's a meteorite that has fallen millions and millions and millions and millions of years. And the word eternal in Basa language is Mbok. And Mbok means the universe. And Mbok also means tradition. Tradition. And our religion is called Mbok Liya. Liya which also means the year which also means a, a rock and Bob Lear just means the knowledge of the rock and we will come to that let's read Romans 9 verse 33 Romans 9 33 and it is, as it is written as it is written I lay in Zion a stone Okay, before carry on, let me quickly explain the word Zion. Eh? The word Zion in French is Sion. Sion. Zion is just a contraction of two words. Zion and On. On is the city in ancient Egypt. This Zion has nothing to do with Israel. This is a forgery. On is a city in ancient Egypt. And Z come from C or Isis which is the, the the goddess of earth and Z also and Z or C also means the earth so Zion means the earth the land of On or the god of On and On is in ancient Egypt this Zion is has nothing to do with Israel as it is written, I lay in Zion a stone of stumbling, a stone of stumbling and rock that make them fall. And the one who believe in him will never be put to shame. Okay. In my upcoming video, we are going to study in depth Romans 9. Because... The the, 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 the the French Bible, the French translation of Romans 9 is, is something very interesting. Because here in English they say, I lay in Zion a stone of, stum of stumbling. But in French they don't use stumbling. The word stumbling, they use scandal. They say, I lay in Zion a stone of scandal. So if I, I, I have to uh, translate it from the French Bible, I will say, I lay in Zion a stone of scandal and in my upcoming video I will explain why why the scandal means why the stumbling means in relation with the with the, with the rocky mountain of Ngogli Tuba and it is also that rocky mountain Ngogli Tuba that the white people call in the in the Bible Mount Sinai Mount Sinai but who can show? Nobody can show Mount Sinai. Nobody can show Mount Sinai. Because the Mount Sinai they are talking about is the Rocky Mountain. Is Gog Lutuba. And it is and it is the Mount Sinai that the that the Arabs call Jebel Musa. Jebel Musa. Jebel, which means Mount Mount and Musa, which is Moses. So is the, the man of Moses because this is where Moses was with, was with the, the stone, with the tablet, with the, com, the commandment, with the, with the act of alliance. But in fact, Moses himself never existed. And we come to that. And in, and in my next video, I will explain you what is Mount Sinai in relation with Ngogli Tuba. Now, let's go to Matthew 16. I read. Blessed are you, Simon of Joah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you, 
that you are Peter on and on this rock I will build I will build my church and the gate of Hades will not overcome it and I tell you that you are Peter on and on this rock I will build my church so the word Peter the word Peter in English means rock the word Peter in English means rock so you are a rock and on this rock I build my church and I told you that we, we can say that it, 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 we the Basa people we the Ngong Lutua people we call religion Mbok we also call religion Mbok Liya because Liya or Liya or A also means rock and Mbok also means the universe tradition knowledge so Mbok Liya is what is the knowledge that come from the rock is the knowledge that come from the rock or the wisdom that come from the, the rock that's why the white people has a, a forgery here Peter you are they say that I tell you that you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church I tell you that you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church this church is just mock in God. This is a forge a forgery because the God you worship is African, is the black woman, is a stone, is a rocky mountain. So so it's, it's very nonsensical for you, it's very stupid for you to hate black people and you worship a black god, a black woman, a rocky mountain in Africa. Well, let's go to Exodus chapter to chapter 33 verse 21-22. Exodus 33 verse 21-22. So, here, yeah, Moses wanted to see God. He asked him, can I see your glory? It means, can I see your face? And this is the reply of God, according to Exodus. Then the Lord said, there is a place near me there is a place near me where you may stand on a rock when my glory passes by i will put you in a cliff in the rock and cover you with my hand until i have passed by then i will remove my hand and you will see my back my face must not be seen so now let, let let's come back when my glory passes by then it's, it's a first thing when my glory passes by i will put you in a cliff in the rock so if you read this verse in, in the french bible they don't use the word cliff they use the word the word a uh, true which means a hole so god asked moses to stand on the rock and then he put it in the cliff of a rock that means inside the hole inside the rock because I told you that Ngoglutuba is a pierced rock. They also call it the pierced rock because it's a rock that has a hole. It is a cave. You can go inside. You can go inside. That's why here in the Bible, God tell Moses, then the Lord said, there is a place near me where you may stand on the rock, on a rock. When my glory passes by, I will put you in a cliff in the rock in a cliff in the rock inside the rock so the rock has a hole and this rock that has a hole and this rock that has a hole is not the tuba so we can see the forgery we can see the forgery that's why the white people the vatican they want to kill the basa people in cameroon because of the rocky mountain because of the sign because that side is god there's no more time uh, my, my my camera will stop uh, very soon so i better stop it here and next time we are going to carry on thank you for listening i hope i enlightened you i shared some uh, i open your mind on this video and i will see you i will talk to you in my next video I'm Bogey Sai, I'm Bogey Sai, I'm Bogey Mayonga Sai, Sai Mbok.